Next up is the pick module, and there are three different picks or plectrums that we can choose from. We have parabola, which is the smoothest or sharp or triangle shape. Now I'm going to play you this little pattern I have done up here. It's a chordal pattern, and I'll switch between these. You won't hear a dramatic difference with these default settings, but as we explore these settings, the differences will become more pronounced. Now, to start with, we have stiffness and dampening, and these parameters determine the flexibility of the plectrum and the resistance that it exerts against the string. Now, dampening is mainly going to affect the attack of the notes. So as we dial it up, we're going to get more attack. We have a nice crisp attack, and stiffness will determine the flexibility of the plectrum, and this is most pronounced when this is at a low value. So there you hear more of a difference between the different pick types. And these two parameters can also interact with incoming note velocity. We can do that via this velocity knob. When it's in the leftmost position, there's no modulation from the note velocity. And as we turn it clockwise, we get more of the effect of the incoming velocity. that affects things as well. Now on the other side, we have the depth parameter over here, and this controls the distance between the edge of the pick and the string when they come into contact. simulates how far behind the string a guitar player introduces the pick before he actually picks the string, so it affects the timing. And similarly with the speed knob, it controls the speed of the pick or plectrum relative to the string, and this is also modulated by velocity, and we can really get this to sound bad and off if you modulate it too much or too little in relation to the speed amount. So that's kind of really scratchy and behind the beat. So that's sounding pretty nice. Now, finally, we have the edge parameter, and this determines the sharpness of the edge of the pick and it makes the different pick models sound the most apparent, in my opinion. So at high values, they're all pretty sharp, and at lower values, they'll be more different. It's a nice tight sound with the speed control and velocity like that. And finally, we have this position knob, which is used to control the position of the interaction point of the pick along the string. So the higher we dial this up, the more rounder the sound is. And when it's lower value, it's like it's closer to the bridge.
like that. It's a lot of fun just playing with these parameters by ear. Let's look at the takeaway from this. There are three different pick types and the parable is the smoothest. The stiffness and dampening parameters determine the flexibility of the pick and the resistance against the string. And dampening affects mainly the attack of the notes. And these can be modulated via the incoming note velocity with the velocity knob. And when it's left, the incoming note velocity doesn't affect the settings on these parameters. And as we turn it up, the note velocity does affect them. The depth and speed parameters control the timing of the attack of the notes. And these can be modulated with their own velocity knob. The edge parameter determines the sharpness of the edge of the pick. And the position knob controls the position of the interaction point of the pick along the string. So we can have it simulate it sounding near to the bridge. And as we dial higher values, it's a rounder sound. See you for more in the next video where we'll continue with other sound shaping modeling parameters.